I'm looking here at two plant symbols that you'll find in the GCAD Plus Plants and Named folder. Just to illustrate, if I go to Open, this is the Named folder, and in there we've got a number of different species uh, where we've made symbols and named them according to the species. So here's a Betula, and here's a, a Bougainvillea, and so on. So we try and make a few symbols that give a little more of the look and the feel of the actual plant species. So on the left here is a plant that we call Hydrangea generic, and that comes from a contribution from Aaron of Stately Paving in Melbourne, and we're really grateful to get some nice symbols like this, and he's given us permission to distribute this one. And the one on the right of the screen is, is Aster. It's a hybrid form of Aster, Aster Frincati. I want to just run through how you would go about creating these sort of symbols that fit nicely into the GCAD Plus environment. Firstly, if you look in the mini layer tool here, we have two layers, one called LPLNT Construction and one called PLNT Symbol. So if I turn off, let me make this one the active one, if I turn off the symbol layer, everything disappears except for a leaf. And if I turn them back on again, so what I need to do is a little bit of editing here. And if we click here, so what I'm going to do is pick the flower, just move that away temporarily. It's a good idea to have polar on when you do a move like this, so I can easily move it vertically upwards. And then I can grab all of these. We don't want the, um, the construction layer on at the moment, so let, let's turn the construction layer off. And we're left just with the leaves now. They're on the, the leaves are on the wrong layer. They're on layer zero. And we want them on layer plant symbol. Once we've done that, we can grab the flower heads and just move them down and pop them into position. I'll zoom extents again. Let's put the construction layer on. And I'll come across over here and notice that I've got all the layers on. There's the construction layer. So uh, I can. As I started to do here, come back, turn off the plant symbol layer, everything disappears, come over here and turn off the plant symbol layer. And again, we're left with just the construction layer on. And what that's designed to do is to enable you just to, in any design when it's finished, you can generate a uh, a version of your plan that'll just be used by the construction team. And we do need to make sure that under format, our point style, we use a plus sign through the point and uh, the it's 1.5% of window height. Now, why that one's not behaving in the way we want, it is a point, it is on the correct layer. I'll regen here. It's still not changing. So I'll try again. Format, point style. 1.5% of window height is appropriate. And of course, here we are. We want a plus sign through it. So you can see both, and then we zoom extends, both symbols are now constructed in the same way. The, let me turn the layer back on again, and zoom extends, which will change things a little. If I pick that circle, notice over here that its center point is 0, 
zero coordinate position. What it means is when we save both of these blocks that we are working on and put them into that named folder, when we use them and drag them into a new design, they will be anchored at an appropriate point. They'll be anchored at the centre of the symbol. There's nothing worse than bringing in a symbol with a base point, which is what that is. The base point here is zero, zero. But there's nothing worse than creating a symbol and trying to use it and find that the base point, that's that blue grip that will be on the symbol, is way off to the side. The next thing I'd like to make sure that we're doing is that we keep file, the file size of these reasonably small. And the reason that it's small is that we're using the, the floral bit, if you like. We make, we're giving it a name, Hydrangea Flower Head. And if we come over here, that one is called an Aster Flower. And I notice it's FF Flower. It's important if you're going to use blocks as we have here, that you give the block a unique name. Don't just call it flower, uh, because if you use that again in a different symbol, then it'll clash. You may have realised that if you drag in symbols into GCAD Plus, if there's already one in the design of the same name, one will substitute for the other. And we use that a lot in editing because it's valuable to know about it and to be able to update in that way. But if you bring in these complex symbols and we're saving space by using a, a little symbol, if we exploded all of these symbols uh, for the, the colourful symbols, the file size would be very big. We try and keep them around about um, 50Ks or thereabouts and down. These are quite elaborate. They've just snuck over the 50K. This one's 38K. And this one here, oops, is 66K. So the one on the right is fits nicely, but we possibly try and keep this hydrangea a little bit lower in file size. So we've got to the stage now where these two symbols are going to work seamlessly in the GCAD Plus environment. One other thing that I find worthwhile doing is putting a copy of these in in the C drive, you know, My Symbols folder. So you can keep them separate from GCAD Plus so that if you upgrade or lose your GCAD Plus, You've got a backup of these symbols, but I digress. So making symbols that are a little more colourful can help in some instances where you want a little bit of pizzazz in the drawing. These are symbols here are for the Imperial version of GCAD Plus. So they'll come in, and if you don't play with the scaling factor as they come in, they'll come in three feet wide close to me in the uh, metric system that'll be close to a meter in width so if we have a look in here the radius of that um, construction sir is 1.5 so to conclude there we've made two little symbols they fit the gk plus standard we put them in a named folder so whenever we use them we can very easily tag those to entry in the GK plus plant database file.